Okay, this is a video of um, my uh, <clears throat> OpenSCAD file that makes various sizes uh, nuts and bolts. So there's one nut right here, and here's um, a nut with a bolt going through it that takes out the insides of it. So you notice there's a whole bunch of settings. It's hard to see here. This is posted on uh, Thingiverse, by the way. So <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of settings here that allow you to change print calibration and allow you to enable or disable threads. Notice there's not enough threads, and you can thread it yourself. Enable threads. Let's say, for example, uh, my diameter of the bolt, I want my diameter to be a little bit smaller. I just change the diameter. Recompile makes it smaller. Uh, let's say I want to have a square bolt instead of a, a hexagon bolt. I just change the sides to four. Uh, let me change the sides back to six. And then let me change my size back to um, my diameter. Notice the bolt size increases again. <clears throat> Let me see, the thread pitch is currently at one eighth of an inch. Let's say I want to make it one fourth of an inch. I just change another setting and voila. And the threads are designed. Now they're at a fourth of an inch spacing. And this nut's at a fourth of an inch spacing. And there is an undersize so that the nut will be a little bit smaller so that, uh, excuse me, so the bolt will be a little bit smaller so the nut will go through it. The nut should match and should go through. There still are a few minor things I'm working on, but I'm going to go ahead and release this now. Uh, there's also another thing I did. I did offsets so that you have this thing right here which puts everything at Z value. So if you're not using Replicator G or a program to center your object, this will now allow it to be at zero level for you, so you can just scan it and print it out without having to do any other funky settings. So, <clears throat> this is supposed to work to millimeters, but I doubt it uh, will work below 10 millimeters just because of the, the design, uh, and there are some other issues I'm working on, but uh, let me go ahead and up the size, up the thread pitch to back to 8. See, just real simple settings here. There we go. And uh, notice the top of the nut's tapered. And uh, I mean the top of the bolt's tapered and then you have the nut. The idea is you should be able to change any parameter on here that you would when you ask for um, a nut, from the, nut and bolt from the hardware store. And uh, this will give you a matching bolt and a matching nut. So, in theory it will anyways. There's still some work to be done. But, I'm going to go ahead and release this. Uh, um, <clears throat> and, uh, let's see. Design. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and release this and we'll see how it works. Now, the other thing too is the threading is designed in such a way that it actually doesn't overhang more than 45 degrees. So, yeah, it spirals up. It will take about 20 minutes to compile um, or more, uh, but then you can print out everything and it should match. 